on Main Street in Brattleboro, people go to bead nicks to buy beads of many different shapes and colors. But if you look close enough and at the right time, you can travel down the staircase in the store to see a unique world of beads and artifacts that span across human history that adorn the walls and counters of the basement of the store. And uh, people started calling it a museum. My children dubbed it a museum, but essentially it's just my collection. And to share it with the rest of the world. And what has started as a small collection has grown over the years. I had boxes everywhere in my garage, and it was decided amongst the household that the garage would be better used for other things like cars and such. So I was encouraged to take all my boxes of beads and spread them out. Uh, some place where I could actually figure out what I had accumulated part. over all these years. Point. And that's where the space yeah. came out of. We took an uh, otherwise empty room, it was our recycling room, and basically just made it nice. And I got to spread out all my beads. And for the last three and a half years, I've been researching my stuff, um, as well as on the side, researching stuff for other people. Around 50 people on average visit the museum when it's open. In various parts I don't know. I find that uh, not a lot of people know stuff about old beads, and I, I've discovered that um, this information that I come across in studying them is just fascinating. I find that uh, it's, there's a lot out there. There's a lot of old beads. They've made millions and millions of beads for trade. It was a global currency for thousands of years. And most people relegate beads to just the fashion accessory realm of oh, costume jewelry or whatever. But there's actually a vast history of beads. And if you know what you're looking for, you can find them everywhere. It's yeah, open during look. First Friday and on Saturdays. Yeah. I think it's just natural for me to uh, share interesting information about things that I love. And I, I love beads. Um, for more on this story, go to reformer.com. And it bounces in so nice way.